You're welcome to the secret place. A place of revival. May you remain blessed as you watch this video to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Enenche to lead us in prayer. They took this kind of decision many years ago. They poured their lives out. It was looking a waste. It was looking as if nothing would come out of it. But this is what God has done. God bless you, sir. Someday, I received one dangerous letter. Oh my God, that letter almost finished my life. Perhaps you will not have met me. What was it? I got a letter from Ibadan. And this brother wrote, Bragbile, what are you doing in, 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 in Benue State? Then I also said, what am I doing in Benue State? You know, <laughs> terrible question. What am I doing here? I looked, every, I've traveled everywhere. I have traveled to all the villages. All the villages of Tivland, all the villages of Idoma land, all the villages of Igala. Because that time, Igala is part of Benue. I'm going from one end to another. And in those days, it looks as if I'm just wasting away. And this brother said, what are you doing there? Something is already happening with us in Ibadan. You better come back. Then I took the letter and said, God, what am I doing here? And the Holy Spirit said, why are you asking me such a question? I bought you with a price. Whether you live or you die, you are my own. Whether anything happened through you or nothing happened through you, what's your business about that? Ah, I say, but God, eh, I need to show something that I'm also doing something. The Lord says, show what? You want to use my work for show? Be careful. I was still arguing with God. I said, there's nothing I'm there. I said, this Bible study. And you know, by that time, we started a Bible study. It met every Tuesday. And the people in the town, they are running there. Every five o'clock, they are running. It was still a study. It looked something. I said, except this Bible study that I'm doing. The Lord said, eh, you point your finger at my work. You will see. I will show you that I use you not for your pleasure. I use you for only my glory. And if you touch my glory, you are finished. I say, God, but, but, but what, what do you want me to do now? God said, okay, I will show you. So that day, it happened to be a Tuesday. I was preparing for the study. I was praying when this matter happened. And I said, today, oh, for you to know that it's not your work and you cannot touch it, nobody will come for your Bible study today. Nobody will listen to you. I thought it was a joke. I went for the Bible study. Usually people have come, they have swept the floor, they have arranged everything. Nobody came. I swept. I dusted the benches. I printed the study outline. Nobody came. <laughs> Five thirty. Nobody came. Quarter to six. Nobody came. It dawned on me that I'm in trouble today. I said, Father, does see me? My own is finished. He said, I just want you to know that nobody can touch my work and survive. <laughs> When it's 10 minutes to 6, nobody has come. Then the Lord said, for you to know, 10 people will come for this meeting today out of the crowd that used to come before. Only 10 will come. And when they come, I'm not using you to speak to them. And just like that, 
by 6 o'clock, 10 people have arrived as if they planned. They did not apologize. They did not say, sorry, we came late. No. <laughs> they didn't know the drama I was going through that night. When they all sat down, they were waiting for me to start the meeting. If I tried to start, the presence of God departed. When I sat and said, brother, please, can you lead us in worship? The presence of God came back. When the presence of God began to come again, I, I thought that it is time to take over. As I took over, the Lord departed again. I tried it four times. I had to tell the brother, I said, brethren, I have to tell you something to, today. They said what? I said, the Lord does not plan to use me today. Uh, let anybody that has something to say, please say it so that we can pray and go. They did. Again, it bothered me that they did not pray for me. I was surprised that they did not even say, Brother Billy, let's just pray for you. No. They left. They left me there. Oh, my trouble started. I said, God, so what has happened? He said, that's what has happened. He said, your past. You will have, your past will be your climax. And you will spend the rest of your years defending your past. Ah! I say, God, what is the past that I will be spending the rest of my years to defend? Oh, God, have mercy on me. I'm, I cried. I went back home. The Lord said, for you to know what I'm telling you, that Bible study will not hold again. Ah, my God. My God. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God we set you apart for his glory and that you will live for his glory there's great work god will do through us if you don't touch the glory there's a mighty work waiting for several of you if you do not tamper with the glory of god i'm going to end to pray with you on that note tonight do you know that the whole thing finished I was still going. Nobody came. One day, I went. And I sat there. Nobody came. And one other church was meeting in another segment. God said, you better stand up. Go and join that church. Let them pray for you. <laughs> ah, when I got there, they said, end of the month, anointing. The man brought oil. You know, I would never have put myself for anybody to put oil on my head. The man said, anointing for end of the month. All of you come up. I was still, God said, you better stand up. <laughs> go, and, go and line up there. I said, God, why are you dealing with me like this? He said, for you to know that no man can touch my work. The whole thing finished. I went back to my house. Nobody came again. I'm telling you. And they did not explain to me why they are not coming. I will meet them. I will greet them. They will not say, oh, we couldn't come for Bible study yesterday. No. They didn't come again. So I went back to my room. I started my prayer again. Lord, have mercy on me. Then I resolved. I resolved. I told God. I told God. I will live for your glory. Whether anything happens or nothing, it will never be mine. My own is for you to be glorified at my expense. If it is your glory that I should remain small, that's okay. If it's your glory that I should just be ordinary, that's all right. Lord, let your will be done. I found Jesus. Living for nothing else. He did nothing for himself. He did nothing for his personal glory or pleasure. He did all for the Father to be glorified. Go ahead. Say, see that will save his life shall lose it. And he that will lose his life. 
for the sake of the kingdom shall find it. In the name of Jesus. servant here tonight does not need any witness to confirm the seed of his life thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new video god bless you